Deadly crash in Troop County Saturday night killed three people, including two LaGrange College athletes. The students were on the way home from a conference tournament they'd just won hours before. Fox 5's Joy Dukes spoke with school officials who shared more about how the entire campus community is dealing with that loss. Good evening to you, Joy. Yeah, Alex, while the Georgia State Patrol is investigating that crash, family, friends, and students gathered at a LaGrange College earlier this afternoon to pay their respects to 19-year-old Jacob Brown and 18 year old Steven Bartolotta, who were members of the LaGrange College Panthers baseball team. A big win for the LaGrange College Panthers Saturday was followed by a tragic loss. It's been a hard day. Just hours after the team won the USA South tournament title, two of its players, Jacob Brown of Duluth, Georgia, and Steven Bartolotta of Palm City, Florida, were involved in a deadly crash on GA 109 near Paddle Wheel Drive. You know, to go from the high of winning the conference championship, this is their fifth conference championship in a row, um, then to just a few hours later losing two teammates, it's a little hard to, to imagine what that, that feels like. The crash happened just before 9.15. According to a preliminary report from the Georgia State Patrol, Brown, who was driving at the time, was trying to pass another car when he hit a 2008 GMC head on. These photos were taken from the crash site. The driver of the truck, 24-year-old Rico Dunn of LaGrange, was airlifted to the hospital but pronounced dead early Sunday morning. Both players were pronounced dead on the scene. So we all feel it. LaGrange College Communications Director Dean Hartman tells Fox 5 with a student population of about 800, it's a tough loss for the entire campus community. We're a small, close-knit campus, um, so, you know, um, we know each other and, it, and it's hard to take this kind of blow. School officials held a campus-wide prayer service on Sunday afternoon to send a message to students that they are not alone. It was a chance to express emotion for the the kids to kind of begin to get some of that out there. Counselors were available right after the event, and Hartman says they will continue to be available this week as school officials prepare for finals and graduation. They'll also be available virtually through the summer months. And the Georgia State Patrol's specialized crash reconstruction team is investigating that crash. In the meantime, Hartman says the baseball team has some big decisions ahead about whether they're feeling up to participating in the national tournament and if this school is prepared to host that tournament. They'll meet tomorrow to have that discussion. Alex, back to you. A heartbreaking story, Joy. Thank you.